All right, welcome back. As always, we have our temperature gauge down in the bottom left. So as soon as that hits hot, we'll get the first photo of the day that I don't completely despise. Um, but in the meantime, let's warm up the shutter button. Yellow, yellow. Again, groundbreaking stuff for the first photo of the day. Ooh. Fellow street tog. Street tog. Should probably never catch on. Cool hair, cool light. Separated from the background by the shadow. I like the way this girl was holding her phone. I think she's probably dropped it a few too many times and the speaker's not working. The normal speaker's not working, so she has to talk on speakerphone. Uh, the, this group of blokes, they didn't like, didn't recognize their wives all done up for the evening. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. Didn't get the best photo of it, but what can you do? So yeah, this is still pretty early. I think this is like 5, 6 p.m. So nothing it's like filling up but it's not like after dark in the city and I decided here that I didn't want to go over to Flinders yet and I'd do another quick loop of the Yarra and here's the first photo of the day I call it the floating lady I like her hair how it matches that lampshade of the street lamp there I like the sort of organic shadows of the trees in the foreground and then the city lit up over in the background across the river. Um, but yeah, not too much to go on um, down here. I spotted this guy and so looped back so that the sun was behind me, but then he started walking off. And I guess I could have run in front of him. But um, yeah, sort of wanted the whole outfit, but sort of closer up at just of his shirt. That guy's fingernails there are amazing. But that ABBA t-shirt guy, like with his big gold chains, it would have been cooler if I'd gotten a bit closer, but you do what you can. With the floating lady, you can see her shoes now, which is disappointing. This guy either helping like a stranger or his grandma with some directions. I think. I follow this guy with the shiny shirt there, hoping someone would walk past with a Great Gatsby champagne glass, but... So this scooter kid was trying to break through, they like block off a bunch of areas for traffic flow and stuff for New Year's, and um, he was just trying to cut through and go to the skate park. and. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my battery had died and I tried to quickly change it and I ended up dropping my battery and then he was already walking away, so missed all the fun. Um, so yeah, back up. Flinders. I thought I'd loop back around and just do another quick check down on South Bank. Obviously the sun in front of me now, shooting into the sun. Got all the way back up to Crown, saw my running man. See this guy everywhere. He's like the fittest bloke. <laughs> Not a great photo, but you know, add it to the list. Bad photos I've taken in my life. Miss focus on that one. And so this is a bit later, I hung around, um, so this is probably like 8, 8 p.m. now, a bit later. And um, this time of year, so around s summertime here in Australia, like Christmas, New Year's, the sun is almost perfectly lined up 
down Flinders Street here. And um, yeah, it's a really good spot, probably one of the busiest pedestrian intersections in the city. Great light. And I especially like this bit um, with the pub here. So the pub catches a bit of light, but people sort of appear and disappear into the shadows. Again, good separation between your subject and just need to hope for something interesting. And that guy in the blue shirt that just passed through the there, that guy with the tattoo on his arm, he's the guy that has a chat to me in a bit. And I had my headphones in, so I didn't really hear him at first. And then by the time I did hear him, I sort of did try to ignore him um, and hope he'd just give up because I was sort of in the flow at this point. But um, he was pretty intent on having a chat. Um, but then, yeah, I was sort of half listening to him and I kept shooting and um, ended up getting the my like second favourite photo of the day. So, um, yeah, turned out all right. But, yeah, I'm sort of not really... What are you taking photos of? What are you taking pictures of? Uh, it's called street photography. It's just street stuff that happens on the street. I like it, I like it. Yeah, yeah. You gonna speak? No, I'm good. Appreciate it. Man. What sort of street stuff? Just stuff that happens, you know? You wait, you hope, you hey, know? It's mad alleys of graffiti and stuff. Oh yeah. It like depends, you know? Like, it could be like a, a city. It could oh, be... Look, hey, that's, that's a bush street out there, look. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's the best straight I can get. Hmm. You never know. You never know. But, uh, have you been, have you checked out most the alleys around here? Oh, yeah. The, like the amazement, like the, you find them hidden around places up there, around here. You've got some of like, the artwork there. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, oh, like street, uh, street art. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's more... Style. That's yeah, yeah. That's a bit different to what I do, but yeah, I get you. Ah, so yeah, yeah. are you just doing the general? Yeah, yeah. Just like you know, documenting, you know, life. Yeah, yeah. Dude, appreciate it. Have a good night. So yeah, I was talking really broad, which I do with most people. Um, I don't want to get into conversations with strangers too much, so keep it vague. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he was a nice guy. Ended up having a good chat. Got that photo of the big burly bloke, um, which I really like. Like the detail on that photo is crazy. Detail on all Q3 stuff is crazy. But um, yeah, I'll chuck some like snippets on my Instagram, I think. Bumped into Benjamin B. And that's New Year's, Melbourne, 2023.